like to now cover the topic of UHF, VHF, mass and amplifiers. Now the key point with these is they are used in conjunction with power units, such as the one displayed here. And the pur their purpose is to um, pass power, 12 or 24 volt signal, from a power unit into two areas to amplify the areas to maximize the gain on those two areas. Um, this type I'm using here is a triax. Um, it has uh, F-type inputs on both sides. So basically, this needs to be mounted directly underneath the UHF and the VHF area. Normally, um, the recommended distance from the areas is about 1.2 meters. You want it close enough to amplify it, but not so close as to cause feedback onto the areas, okay? So the first step is to take a, um, a cable from the UHF area and feed it in on the UHF side. So it's completed in this manner here. And uh, this thing actually lifts out, which is a very, very handy feature. In general, in terms of design, it's very, very difficult to beat Triax. They're generally slightly more expensive than other brands, but they do complete ranges and, um, you know, to that extent, they're very, very desirable because this is a relatively complicated job here. For a simple UHF amplification, a cheaper brand would probably do as good a job as Triax simply because it's a simpler operation. Um, now, I've actually screwed on in on the wrong side. Uh, what we need to do is ensure that this is screwed in on the B uh, tree, which simply stands for band tree of VHF, which is what's used in Ireland for VHF broadcasts. RT1 and 2 are generally broadcast on, on those particular frequencies. And the final step now will be coming along and we would take a wire coming from the power unit. And normally, of course, the power unit in the area wouldn't be so close. But what we'll do here is we will feed this wire in here uh, from the power unit and it's now uh, possible if we plug this power unit in in the living room directly into a television and um, it's connected to the aerial and we'll be able to tune in the television once the power has been applied um, uh, to the power socket and what, with these two very big game things here we can turn up and down both the UHF and the VHF independently to moderate the level of gain because what we do not want is um, excessive gain uh, on the areas because you might lead to a problem of feedback. So we're set areas that would have worked well without amplification, sometimes amplification will actually make it worse. So from that perspective, having the variable gain on it is excellent. Uh, so that's it in, in completion, uh, the installation of a VHF uh, aerial, which of course now would be clamped directly onto the pole and it's always mounted in a manner where the cable is coming from the bottom and this is the prevent water following the cable into the unit and actually water level unit which would obviously cause serious technical problems.